All right, just gonna check on how that little video I made was. You know, it took me a few minutes to put it together. Oh, what? How? How? Why? But really, thank you guys for the support. That's, you know, in part why I'm making this video now. I have some more in-depth explanation as the last video I made was not very detailed at all. And I'd like to improve on a lot of the points I made. Evidence that Nintendo cares about Tomodachi Life in the Miis is plentiful and reasonable. In Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, not for Wii U, Nintendo added a Tomodachi Life stage, which makes sense considering that 3DS is the home of a legendary game. They added the Tomodachi Life stage in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well, which proves that Nintendo still cares. The Smash Bros. team decided to add an extra floor as well as HD touch-ups. A company who puts that much effort into a stage does care at least a little. Our biggest piece of evidence pointing toward a Tomodachi Life Switch is the port of another 3DS game, Metopia. Metopia takes up 6,866 blocks, or about 858.25 megabytes on a 3DS. Tomodachi Life takes up 3,391 blocks, or about 442 megabytes. Neither game takes up even a gig. However, Tomodachi Life takes up roughly half the space in Metopia. Metopia's port brought new features into the game. A Tomodachi Life sequel wouldn't likely have to go over a gigabyte to be a wonderful game. But Nicholas, Tomodachi Life 2 couldn't happen because the max mini capacity is only 100 on Switch, you big dumb idiot. Okay, first, ouch. Second of all, that's not a problem. The game could design around this and make a lower me count, but more content or something. There's near infinite possibilities with a game like this.